everyone, my name is Kelsey and welcome to the Nightly Needle. Today I have an unboxing and it's a big one. So guys, I apologize for all the background noise. So um, I decided to do one last big haul probably for the year. Um, I'll definitely do some smaller ones throughout, but I think this is probably going to be the biggest and probably the last of the biggest for a while. Um, so I went on Hirschner's and bought up a bunch of yarn because it was on sale, and I got some new yarns that I wanted to try um, that were brand new on their website as well from Lion Brand. So all in all, I ended up I think with like 50 something skeins, so <laughs> it's pretty big. The box weighs like 24 pounds, it's crazy. So I haven't even opened it yet guys, still completely sealed up. And I got a bunch of mandalas this time as well. I think I ordered six of them. So yeah, it's going to be a big old haul, a big mystery for sure. I'm super excited. Um, I got this in the mail yesterday, but didn't get a chance to make the video yet. Um, so I'm doing it today, and it's been killing me inside uh, to not open this box. But I wanted to wait for all of you. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and just start pulling stuff out. So I've got this yarn here. So this one is um, Flourish by Sundance. It looks kind of like a t-shirt or a sweater. Yeah, that's what it is. Kind of yarn. Super duper pretty. I love that vibrant red. And this is called Jerice, color number three. It is a 45% wool, 45% acrylic, 10% nylon blend. Um, it says hand wash, dry flat, so it's probably pretty delicate, and it's considered a super bulky six, which is about right. Um, it's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 370, 37 yards, or 34 meters. So, decent sized ball. I mean, it's cute. There's five in a pack, so I mean, it's a pretty good deal, right? So yeah, there's five of those. And then it looks like I got another one. And I don't remember half of what I got. I just know I got a lot of mandalas and a bunch of different yarn that I've never used before. So forgive me. Um, this is the same thing, except for it is pink. It's a very cute pink. And there's the color. Super pretty. Super cute. You know, I think this would make like a, a really nice uh, rug or something. I, yeah, I think that's probably what I had in mind for it. Again, uh, I don't remember. It's been a while since I ordered and there was a lot. Um, so the next thing that's on top, I have not tried Shaw in a Ball before. So um, I wanted to try that and then I got the colorway reflective crystal so that's pretty it's got some purples and a lot of this limey green kind of yellow um, it's really soft a tiny tiny gauge which would make a really beautiful lacy shawl for sure um, I don't think I've worked with this small of gauge in quite a while so it'll definitely be kind of a refresher um, and probably quite interesting to be honest so this is 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, 3% other fiber. Not sure what that means, but other, I guess. Um, so it's 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 481 yards, or 440 meters. It's a medium four is what it's considered. But awfully tiny gauge. I was thinking like a two by looking at it. I don't know. Is it like a couple like strands put together? I've never used this yarn, so that'll definitely be interesting. And it come in a three pack. Really pretty. I mean, they're all a, like different. You could definitely tell like this one's more purple. This one's more blue. This one's more green, you know. Um, so that's kind of interesting be interesting to make a project with those. And then 
we got the big ones. So these are the Worsted 8. You know, they're the big 8 ounce balls. Um, these come in different packs. This pack um, is Teals, I believe is what it was called. But yeah, it's really pretty. Um, we've got some dark teal. We've got a, a more true teal, I would say. We've got white, and then we've got kind of a very pastel -y one here. It's really pretty, you guys. That'll be really pretty, like, blanket. That's that's kind of what I have in mind for these guys, cause since they're so big. And, you know, Afghans tend to eat up a lot of yarn. Um, these are perfect for that. And so I that's why I was thinking, okay, well, I'll get something that's already color-coordinated. And... As per usual, I'll probably mix and match a couple, you know, or whatever I have left over because that's just the way I do things. Um, so that one's super pretty. And then the next one is purples. So this one has a lot of re just really pretty purple shades. Purple's my favorite color, so this will probably be um, one of my favorites or, you know, something that I might make for myself. I'm not sure yet. But we have, you know, this really pretty lilac, have kind of like an amethyst purple, and then more of like a, a grape or an artificial grape purple is what I call it. And then, you know, something that's more of like a true purple. Um, those would be really pretty together. And the next one is this one. So I believe this one was called the Rose Pack. So it's got a lot of um, pinks and stuff in it. So we've got this really pale kind of baby pink. And we've got kind of like a, a mulberry. Then we've got kind of like a, um, a darker hot pink or what I would consider like a rose pink. And then we've got this kind of just neutral, you know, regular pink going on there. So those will be really pretty for maybe um, like a baby blanket or some type of baby set. And then there's this one, it's called Coral. It definitely caught my eye because we've got kind of like an off-white, a peach. We've kind of got the melon here and then this one is more of like a, a fiery burnt, you know, orange kind of going on. Um, so I think those would be a really pretty blend together for a blanket for sure. And then I wanted to try um, cause I, have definitely been more interested in like bamboo yarn and this is called True Boo by Lion Brand. So I, it, I just seen it on the website recently on Hershner's and, um, I thought I'd give it a try. It's very soft and very silk-like. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. It's 100% rayon. So I would definitely be interested into seeing how that works up. I got two skeins of that and it's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 241 yards, 220 meters. It's a three light. Um, yeah, machine wash cool, lay flat dry. So it's kind of delicate. Um, I'd be really curious to see what I could make with this or what, what might, you know, what it would be used for like if it could be kitchenware or would you use it, you know, for like a sportswear kind of thing. Um, it would definitely be interesting to see what I can come up with. And this color is mushroom, so it's kind of like a, you know, grayish kind of mulberry color. It's it's really pretty. I like it. Very soft and, and delicate looking. And because I liked the Premier Bloom Yarn so much, I got another skein of it. They just happen to have it on Hershers now, too. And there's this. Beautiful, beautiful colorway. So this one is Hummingbird. And I liked the yarn I had so much that I decided I wanted to make a pattern with it. And this one is going to be in which I film the pattern. So uh, stay tuned for that. I love the, just the squishy feel of it and the color is really pretty. It's very vibrant. Um, so I'm excited to use that one for sure. All right. So I have saved the best for last and there's a lot of them. So forgive me, it's gonna take a minute. And as far as remembering the names of them, I will try my best. I suck at names. 
and my memory is not very good, but um, we will try. So first up, we've got this pack. Get her pour open here. So this one is a Pegasus. I have quite a few of these, um, but I am definitely going to make a project with them soon. And then I've got this one. I think it's supposed to be remnants of like Genie maybe. It just doesn't have like the darker green. It's just that lighter green and a little bit in the center there. And then we've got this one. And I think this one is Spirit, I believe. Um, it's got a lot of the blues and the grays in it. It's a really, really pretty. And these, actually, these mill ends feel pretty big. I know last time some of them were a little bit smaller. Um, they didn't feel as hefty. And then the time before, they were huge. Um, but yeah, these feel more like the first time I got them. Like, they're definitely bigger feeling. So, I'm excited about that. Can't complain. And then... The next one, it looks like it's pretty much the same. So another spirit. This one's got a little bit more blue in it. And then we've got another genie. This one's a little bit more hefty. It has more of the, the gray and a little bit more green in there. And then we've got another Pegasus. This one has a little bit less green, a little more purple and orange it looks like. And so it looks like pretty much all the mandalas you guys this time are just these three. Um, these three different colors which is fine. You know I, I, I've not met you know a colorway from mandala that I didn't like so it's totally fine. Um, this one again you know more genie Then we got more spirit. And then another Pegasus. A lot of purple on that one. And we got three more of these, you guys. There's another one of these. This one is Genie, but there's a lot of white on the outside and a lot of gray on the inside. Kind of interesting. And then another spirit. This one has got quite a bit of dark in the middle. It's kind of cool. And then again another Pegasus. Another genie. Another spirit. And another Pegasus. Alright, last one of the mandalas, and then I got a couple more to show you guys. So, here's another genie. This one's a pretty hefty cake. It's pretty big. Um, then there's the spirit, and then another pegasus. So, tons of mandala yarn, you guys. I, I don't think I'll need to buy more yarn for a while as far as, um, you know, the the mandalas or the cakes or you know the multi striping kind of yarn um, I think if I do any more yarn sharpening it's going to be probably I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby because that's just kind of my staple yarn for you know solid projects um, but yeah so the last two are the newer ones from Lion Brand that I saw so it's called next best thing next best thing so it's another cake yarn. This, these are much softer, like more wool-like. It feels. Yeah, those are super soft, super squishy. I like that. So um, it's a light three, ninety percent acrylic, ten percent wool. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's, it's like super squishy, guys. It's like a pillow. Um, it's five point three ounces, one hundred fifty grams. 525 yards, 480 meters, so it's a pretty decent sized cake, even though the gauge is a little bit smaller. So this came in a three pack, and this color is Phlox, 
So it's pinks and teal and kind of a minty green, very pastel-y. Um, again, I got three of those. And the final pack is another next best thing. Um, this one is a much darker colorway. So it's just grays, black, and a little bit of white in there. Um, machine wash, gentle, lay, dry, flat. I don't know if I said that before. This one is called Total Eclipse. So this one is right up my alley. And it also came in a three pack. So yeah, this is going to be interesting to use because it's just so squishy. Like, can't get over the squishy. But yeah, you guys, um, so that is, I don't even have a place to put my yarn now. Um, <laughs> So that is it. You know, I it was a quick haul. You know, I got a lot of stuff today. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I always love getting new yarn. It is the thrill of the shop. It's there. I can't help myself sometimes. Um, but I think I'm pretty set on cake yarn for quite a while. And, um, you know, like I said, I might do a few other hauls here and there. Some smaller ones. I know I have some yarn coming from Hobby. I've never ordered yarn through there before um, but it should be here pretty soon so stay tuned for that haul as well. If you want specs on the mandala yarn um, I will link that video where I did the haul and talked about all the specs of the mandala that way I don't have to repeat myself. But again guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you'll know whenever I put a new video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did like the video. That's the best way to help my channel, and guess what? It's free. All you have to do is just, boop, hit the button. There you go. Everything is great. Um, and I really appreciate that. If you would like to follow me on social media, I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Those are the main ones I use. I do have Twitter, but, you know, I don't, I'm not a big Twitter person. So, if you stick with those top three, we're good to go. Um, all that will be linked in the description. Um, if you guys want to check out my Etsy shop, I've been adding patterns lately and trying to get those cranked out for you guys. Um, so definitely check that out and it'll be linked below as well. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to, you know, watch my videos. Until next time, bye!